back to midday, everybody. We are just a few weeks away now from Christmas, and everybody seems to be getting in the holiday spirit. One place that is full of festivities is Luminaria. It's in Lehigh, and ABC4's Ali Monson gives us a preview of that event in today's sponsored segment. See it, smell it, and even taste it. It is a holiday spectacular that appeals to all five senses, and tonight I'm so excited to be getting a tour of Luminaria here at Thanksgiving Point courtesy of Josh, who's like my own personal tour guide. Glad to have you. So good to see you again, and it's crazy that it's this time of the year already. I know, I've got my hand warmer <laughs> ready for action. You're bundled up. Yeah. I should have probably packed my gloves. I didn't, and it's okay. Yeah. Got my but this has really been in the works for a long time. I mean, months of setup, is that right? That's right, yeah. Once the uh, Scarecrow Festival ends here at the Ashton Gardens, Luminaria is in full bloom, but uh, the lights are starting to be wrapped basically tulip festival time. So it really is a full year in the works, and uh, we hope people enjoy it. More than one million lights is what you will see as you make your way through this one mile, give or take, hike. But it really is not so much a hike as it is a walk because anyone can do it. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you can have strollers, you can have uh, wheelchairs if you need to, or you can rent those as well. You can't rent a stroller, you can rent a wheelchair. <laughs> um, if you need to bring, you know, grandma or grandpa out or anybody that maybe needs some, some extra help, we have that. Obviously, you can see the walkways behind us. But yeah, we're pretty proud of what we have uh, put on here as the newest kind of Christmas tradition for. Utah. It's definitely a unique experience because it does appeal to all the senses. So as you walk through a certain uh, display, you start to smell things. You'll smell peppermint or you'll smell, I don't know, just some of the great senses of the, of the season. Yeah, if you go down to S'mores Village where the uh -huh. fire pits are and the games are and there's a big light bright, you'll start to smell kind of a s'mores smell. Yes. And uh, you can also have s'mores. Yes. So you have to run out the fire pit, right, in yeah. advance? Yeah, but uh, trust me, it's worth it. It's totally yeah. worth and it. keep warm, it's, it's awesome. Okay, another one of my favorite parts about this is the reindeer woods, because you actually have Santa's reindeer. Right. Here at Luminaria. Two of them. Come say hello, <laughs> get a picture with them. And uh, there's reindeer wranglers down there that will kind of tell you some cool reindeer facts. Reindeer and... wranglers. Reindeer I've wranglers. never heard of that. I wonder, like, what the qualifications are to becoming one, because that sounds wanna. like a fun job. Yeah. Would they consider me? Yes, I wouldn't want it. You gotta I mean, stick with your you got to be able to bring your own shovel, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, and then also um, the greenhouse. There's a new, new and improved greenhouse up the hill from here. The greenhouse, yeah, is basically the first beat when you come into Luminaria. You'll okay. see the Merry Mosaic right in front of you as you walk out the doors of the visitor center. But then you'll go to the greenhouse. You can get a hot chocolate to kind of get your walk moving. But you'll also see some pretty amazing gingerbread houses in there that are professionally built. And it's uh, it's something else, honestly. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect when I first saw it, and it blew well, me away. It's craftsmanship. It's yeah. art. It's really a true skill and talent that these people have. And this has been in the works for such a long time. It's my new favorite holiday tradition, Luminaria. Everybody runs through January 5th, and you can find out how to get your tickets, all the pricing, all the details um, at thanksgivingpoint.org. Um, I don't even have kids yet, and it's already something that I find myself coming back to every year. This is the third year now. And the tradition is going to stick around for Good. probably a long time, right? Good. Happy to hear it. Let's go see it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks so much.